M0FXB, welcome to my channel. As you know, STS 200 and 100 have had a waterfall update. Now, it's not ready for the UK version, but I thought I'd show you something that is a bit cheeky, and I actually advise you not to do this. So if you go update now and go firmware, and now we're already connected our radio, which is in USB mass storage mode. We've pressed the button, cable's connected. If you click OK now to the latest firmware that has the waterfall, it's going to say to you, you've got the current version. It's not going to load up the new version for the waterfall, which when you get that has new settings um, that, you know, to control and change uh, the waterfall. But watch this. If I right click, go to my SD card like so, double click here. So make sure you can see this. So I write, I'm basically in my file explorer. I'm talking to my SD card, go to scanner. SDS 200E, if I delete the E and press File, Save, then close this. Again, I'm telling you not to do this. It's me being cheeky and playing around. Then I go Update the firmware. The E is gone, and now this time, when I press OK, it actually does load all of the firmware into the SD card. See, and it's saying that if you disconnect the USB cable, it, it will begin, but it actually doesn't. And I. I will disconnect it and um, yeah you can't see the radio but I can tell you now the radio or the scanner just boots up like normal and there is no no waterfall in there everything's working fine but I'll tell you what is interesting when when it does boot up I'll show you this and I find it interesting if we now look at the SD card again once we go into E mode so when you're in E-mode, you're effectively, it's like a giant SD card. That's how I look at it. So File Explorer. Just make, wait for it to show up. Like so. There it is there. Go back into the file. Double click scanner. The E has come back. Yeah. But also, if you go into firmware, You've got, we've got the bin files here, yeah? The two bin files that you would need to upgrade the firmware. So I haven't got a clue how to make it upgrade from those bin files, and I don't even know if if I do, it will cause a problem with my scanner. This is why I keep saying don't do this, but I'm an experimenter, I'm a ham radio operator, and we like to tinker. So if someone else can think of a way to make these SDS 200E model, Europe model, not USA model, because they're going to work fine. Um, load up the waterfall, because what happens, the way it works is once you can see the, the waterfall menu, which I have got here, it does actually show you a picture, a photograph of the scanner. Actually, not a picture, a still image of the, of the scanner working. But then it says to you, oh, you need to upgrade this with the key, which I think is about $20. So tell me off, tell me for being naughty, but I thought I'd show this and I find it interesting. Bye for now, 7-3.